All right, I'm having to redo this video because the first one I accidentally filmed sideways. But this is a two-year update video on Penny. She is, as of September 1st, two years old. She's my Suriname boa constrictor. And as you can see, you might not be able to tell uh, based on this video. Let me grab a DVD case so you can get some scale as to how big she is. At two years old, she is f almost 51 inches, and I believe she's 26 and a half ounces. So she is growing very quickly. Um, I've got another Suriname, as you guys have seen. She's coming up on six years old, and she's about six feet. So this girl is less than two feet shorter and she's almost four years younger if that gets you any idea of how big she is now if you guys have seen any of my videos before you know that i am very much against overfeeding power feeding and i'm very strict with their feeding uh with their feeding regimens so she currently is at the time actually all of them are currently at the time of year where they do eat more often than normal which is um, a couple months before I take them off of food completely for the winter. So she was on small rats every 16 to 19 days. Right now she's on small rats every 12 to 13 days. And then starting in November, she's going to be off of food completely for 10 weeks. Last year I did eight weeks. This year is going to be 10. Um, I'm gonna. I think I'm going to try something a little bit different with her this year since uh, the older ones will fast from... November until the end of February or early March But because I'm only fasting her for 10 weeks. I don't have that option to do it straight through like that So what I'm gonna try this year is uh, November uh, starting in November. I'm gonna go uh, eight uh, sorry 10 weeks with her off of food and then I'm gonna feed her and then she's gonna go another six weeks off of food So it's the full, you know three months or so but with one meal in between so it would be as if it's winter time in the wild and she catches one prey item in between but as you guys can see I mean she's got what I consider and what I've been told by all the experts to be a perfect body she's got that nice square got that nice square body um, she's probably coming up on a shed sometime in the next few weeks so her tails a little more dull than normal but she has that tall square healthy body I'm gonna Come on, get her over here. Come on, girl. Swing this way. She's got that nice, healthy, square body. You don't want a round body on boas. It's not healthy. Um, and she's probably the best shaped boa that I have. All of my boas, I want to have that body type on her. Um, now, the Guyana that I got is, I'm going to be doing a two-year update video on her as well. She was born about three days before this girl and she's not quite as big but she's not far behind I mean, this girl's around 50 51 inches give or take and the Guyana is around 45 46 inches so she's not much smaller than her she just doesn't have that muscular beefy body so if you guys have any questions or anything you want to ask feel free to ask in the comment section and if you guys haven't done already feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos and if you guys think I deserve it, don't forget to hit the like. Everyone be safe, and thank you, as always, for the support.